Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. So in today's video, I want to show you 15 minutes trading strategy that is very, very easy and it's able to get you quick pips. Yes, this strategy will be able to be profitable if you master it well. So guys, if you're interested, continue watching. And please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that red button down below and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you may not miss any upload. So guys, without wasting any time, let's get down into the video. So guys, in the 15 minutes trading strategy, we are using 15 minutes uh, chart on trading view i'm in trading view right at this moment so what is this 15 minutes trading strategy so um this 15 minutes trading strategy first of all you use 15 minutes chart as i have said go to tradingview.com that's why i use that's the website i use to analyze the markets then now another thing we are using 50 ema and this 50 ema on my chart is black in color and then we are using 20 ema 20 EMA on my chart is red in color and then wait for the cross. I'm, I'm trying to explain you for, <laughs> I'm trying to explain the strategy for you. So what is this 15 minutes trading strategy? So we are using 50 EMA, we are using 20 EMA and then we wait for a cross over. So when 20 EMA, 20 EMA in our case is the fast moving average. When it crosses 50 EMA from above, we, um, we, we 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 sell when a uh, 20 ma fast moving average crosses 50 ma from below we buy i'll explain that in a moment so note that on this strategy we are not trading it by itself it needs at least two other confluences and i will let you know what are those confluences that will help you now to be able to enter a trade when you see a crossover of this um uh, you see a crossover on 15 minutes chart. So guys, this is our chart. Let's go to our chart. We are on our 15 minutes time frame on trading view. So uh, we can pick any market. Um, uh, currently, we are analyzing GBP USD. So uh, we can see where this uh, strategy comes in. And I will tell you the two other confluences because you can't use just one a confluence to get into a trade so the uh, the key thing on this strategy is to wait and see the crossover of the moving average and for this case we are looking at our fast moving average which, which is red your eyes should be the red moving average on my case is the 20 moving average you put it 20 moving average and as you can see these are my moving average you can go to the settings and uh, for inputs you put length is 20 source is close offset is zero these are my my settings on my moving average and then the style you can check the color that you want here so that's where you do the uh you can change the settings so your eyes should be focused on the 20 moving average, the 20 EMA, because it's the fastest. So we have said if the 20 moving average cross from above, we have a sell. So for instance, like this point, you see, it is close. It, <laughs> it is it is crossing from above like the moving average was above and it's crossing it's crossing the 50 ma automatically we know we are having a sell setup when the moving average start crossing from below let's look from below we have a buy uh, opportunity you see the moving average was below and it's crossing the 50 ma we have a buy so this is a buy from below above is a sell guys that's all you need to know on this strategy so the first thing you need to know is that um for instance this is our market let's say 
here is what we are checking this is our market the first thing i always tell you guys is to 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 identify the highest point and the lowest point so our highest point is this uh 3476 and the lowest point uh it can be 3329 that's what i can see the lowest and as you can see the moving average had crossed previously on this from below so we had a good buy you can see all this is a buy from above so leave that because we didn't maybe you were not available at this moment so what we want to see is for when we are at this point and sellers are in control we are still looking for a sell opportunity because as you can see from here the trend has been a sell you can see it has been a sell so the other thing i was telling you the two confluences you use your trend line use your trend line so the first the first thing you're using uh you're using trend line the other confluence and then the other one i'll tell you so make sure your trend line are on check because if you don't know where the market is going the trend line at least it helps you to understand what's the market what's the trend of the market and to understand where the demand is coming from so as you can see so let's say we found our market at this point this is where we found our market so you have already marked trend line trend line you mark after two points where the price has touched so the price touched here the sellers came in pushed the market to this place and then the other thing guys trend line acts as support and as resistance so in this case it's acting as support so it touched another time and mind you this is 15 minutes so every candle is 15 minutes every candle is 15 minutes so with four candles we have one hour so it was touching uh, our trend line and being supported and the price was getting rejected every time it would hit our trend line so the other confluence i was telling you about uh beside the moving average crossover is the trend line so you have your trend line and now our eyes are on this place so the other confluence is the price action guys i've told you moving average is good the crossover is very easy even someone with no information about forex can be able to identify the crossover higher here it crossed here it crossed like that's very easy but you can't trade it on by itself so the other thing the other the other confluence that you need is price action what's happening the price action or the market structure sure so the market structure you need trend line market structure and now moving average cross over so those are the three things you need for this strategy yes remember guys there is no way you can use one strategy or uh, one uh, confluence because it will not give you good results always so at least we need three things but the overall is the crossover it's like the crossover confirms it's like it gives us a final confirmation so we are getting final confirmation from moving average when they cross over so as i said when you use moving average you need two other confluences the first one is the trend line at least to know where the market is going the other one is market structure to know how is the market and the price action happening at that moment so we are here maybe you have found the market at this place so the first thing that you need to understand is that this market can still trend downwards you are not sure if the 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 um the the trend has ended so the buyers came in they pushed the market up but guess what they were defeated by the sellers sellers tried to push the market but here is where it is interesting you can identify where the sellers reached the market what happened at this moment let me delete that for you to see what happened the sellers were unable to push the market lower either to get uh, resisted by the support so the sellers were, were unable to push this market lower and they reached this market at this point this is another 
confluence. This is another indication that now you may have a reversal of the market. You may have a buy uh, opportunity. And if this was something that I was looking at, when this, I would have waited for this candle to close because this is 15 minutes. I just need to wait for 15 minutes to see this blue candle closing blue, meaning the sellers have been rejected and they have not pushed the market lower. So my entry would have been at this moment, but there is a catch. We are waiting for a confirmation of moving average crossover. At this moment, we just have the market structure. We just have the trend line because the market never came back to the trend line, but the moving average, we don't have it. So we are, our strategy is wait until the crossover because the moving average crossover, it's like the final, final indication that that market is trending up. So that person who entered this place, he, it went to this place and guess what? The market still went down. In, in, uh, it went down again and then it came up it came up, then again went down, like sellers were taking this market down. But when it was coming here, this was our crossover. So the minute you find the market like this, behaving like this, what you need to understand is that you need to wait for crossover. And as you can see, the crossover happened happen at this point. Let me see. So the crossover happened here. This is where the crossover happened. So your entry would have been around this place after the crossover. And then your stop loss just below that low, the previous low, the immediate low. And then maybe your take profit should be, many people ask me, where should my take profit? The previous high. So that should be your take profit. You see where the, the highest we have. So that's where you would have taken your profit and actually it would have hit your profit. Guys, have you seen what I've done? Three things, three good things to, to guide you on taking a trade on 15 minutes chart. We can try to look for another setup where the market has crossed over. And the best thing when it crosses over, it remains on a buy mood. And you can see the person who came and found the market at this point, and they said the market crossed over here, he could have gotten another entry. You see, you could have gotten another entry, put the stop loss just below that point and try and see where to hit the take profit. Uh, this high you could have taken the previous high so your take profit would have been that place and guess what it would have hit the take profit so you'd have even multiple trades because the market it's the already it crossed so this the crossing of moving average is the one that is keeping are giving you more confidence on buying this market rather than selling so guys i hope you have understood you have understood what I've taught you about moving average crossover, about this 15-minute strategy. You need to combine it with so many things. So how do you know the reversal? When the market starts giving a different market structure, you can see every time the sellers would push the market, there's the buyers would try to to bring the market up higher than the previous one. The sellers come in, they are defeated. Buyers push the market higher. So buyers push the market high. Again, buyers push the market high. But when now at this moment, what start, started happening is when the sellers pushed the market lower, the buyers were starting to get defeated. You see, so they were not able to push the market any further. And when this start happening, guess what? Um, the moving average crosses over again, supporting sale. So this is something that you can practice about moving average. Practice, practice, practice. And maybe target from 30 to 50 pips. If you want to target more pips, no problem, but start with 30 pips and 15 minutes is good because it is easy to understand for beginners. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have understood what I've taught you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, give this video a big thumbs up 
Until next time. Bye-bye.